How sweet it is. The Baylor Lady Bears have advanced their 12th straight Sweet 16 matchup. It comes after a dominating performance against Virginia Tech yesterday. The Lady Bears will now take on number six, Michigan. Despite this win, there are always some upsets in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, but one of the biggest this year has nothing to do with the action happening on the hardwood. It's all because of a post that went viral showing the difference in the men's and women's weight rooms. And it doesn't stop there. Players raise questions about the quality of food for the women. Their goodie bags appear to be smaller than the men's as well. And the COVID tests performed on the men are more reliable than done on women. The NCAA has apologized since then. They even upgraded the women's weight room. But what message does this send to young girls in sports? Texas Today's Maria Aguilera spoke with a local athletic director who used to play in the NCAA. Here are her thoughts, Maria. Heidi and Chris, the woman I spoke with says as an athletic director and former college athlete, this sends the message that women will no longer settle for anything less than what they deserve. At the NCAA tournament, the women's weight room went from a single rack of dumbbells and some yoga mats to a fully stocked weight room after the first photo and videos went viral on social media, showing the lack of amenities for the women compared to the men. As an former athlete who played in that, who got to experience that, all uh, the experience is everything. So for those young ladies to have to experience that and see that there is still a big difference, that, that, that's sad. Rashante LeBlanc, the girls' athletic director at Temple ISD and former basketball player at LSU, who made it to the NCAA Final Four every year that she was in college, says she didn't notice the inequities back then. It wasn't until I got a little older that I really started to notice the difference in how things, how things played out. LeBlanc says social media is making us more aware of the difference in how women and men are still treated. And she says it's not that they need to be equal, but they do need to be equitable. And that's what she strives for at Temple ISD. I think that the misconception is that it has to be equal. So not that it had to be the same as what the men's had, but I thought it should have definitely been more than what they gave us. She says this incident shouldn't have happened to begin with, but it gives women the courage to speak up for what's right. Fight for what you think you deserve. If you think you deserve it, don't put a limit on yourself. Go get it. She says she hopes young girls and women continue to fight for equity, not just in sports, but in the workplace as well. Maria Aguilera, 6 News, back to you.